G'day folks, welcome to the channel today. I've got a great video that I want to share with you. I came across it on YouTube and uh, it's a panel of four Muslim men having a conversation with four Muslim women about secret second wives. And the, the men are trying to argue that it's okay for Muslim men to have secret second wives wives this is going to be a reaction video uh, i hope you enjoy it it's certainly something i enjoyed watching and had a good laugh watching uh, it's really a sad religion even though sometimes we may laugh at these things it is also a sad thing to see this happening in the world but uh, it's important that we make videos about this kind of thing so we can see the the errors of other religions and, and, and other kind of worldviews that are out there and we can stand firm in the truth of the christian faith I want to play this video and uh, as we go along i'll pause it and give you my reactions for copyright reasons of course as well let's get right into it and that's how uh, actually this guy starts the video himself he says let's get right into it here it is let's get straight into it the topic is secret second wives um <laughs> and i just have to laugh as soon as i hear him say that i mean that that's just just funny the topic of this secret second wives you know <laughs> yes the first topic is is it okay so we're going to do is two segments. The first one is going to be that is it okay for a man to be in a secret um, second marriage or third or fourth marriage for that? Let's start with you, Hijab. Inshallah. Yeah. So let me just summarize the points. Um, I think when we say is it okay now for Muslim people at least this will become a fiqhi discussion. Yeah. This becomes a jurisprudential discussion, an Islamic law discussion. Yeah. So with fiqh, there's two uh, there's two components. Yeah. There's the abstract and then there's the application. Okay. The ab so there's the abstract. And then there's the application, right? This is a matter of Islamic law. There's the abstract, and then there's the application. Let's keep watching. Abstract, you can refer to as fiqh or the rulings, or the asl al-hukum, they would call it. And then you have tanzil al-hukum, which is the application, right? So to give you an example, marriage itself can take different rulings. Sugar can take different rulings. Like if someone's got diabetes and they take sugar, that can be haram for them, you see. Haram is the word means like forbidden. Halal means permitted, haram means forbidden. If someone is morbidly obese and they eat food, that can be haram for them because it's harmful. So even food can take different rulings, even though a piece of chicken, for example, or a cube of sugar. In Look, notice the two guys there, you know, if they, if they have some sugar, it's haram for them. Right? If those Muslims are watching this video, if those two Muslims on the end in the black take sugar, that's haram for them. Itself is not haram. Yes. But it can be haram in certain situations. Yeah, and so there's lots of things like that. In, in general, so when we talk about this issue here, to get straight into it, when we talk about secret second wives, there's no such thing as secret second wives in Islam mm -hmm. because there's no secrets in nikah. You need to have at least two witnesses, okay? According so there's, there's no secret second wives, right? Because in Islam, you need to have at least two witnesses, right? So there's no such thing in Islam as secret second wives technically right so i mean in other words if you want a buddy uh you know that that can be a witness or something he might want a second wife himself you bring him along a couple of mates along they're witnesses to your second marriage and therefore it's not a secret second marriage even though your wife doesn't know about it it's not a secret second marriage because there are witnesses to the majority of scholars however having said that it is very possible for somebody to get married without telling their first wife in islam as an abstract talking why? Because that is, there's no prerequisite, there's no conditioning, ishtirat, there's no conditioning according to any of the madhahib, in fact, that a man needs to tell his uh, first wife. Look at their reactions. They don't seem very happy about this. They, they, you know, I mean, you know, what woman would be? What woman would be happy knowing that their husband could have a secret second wife? No woman's going to be happy with that or give, ask for permission from her or anything like that, yeah? Okay. Uh, in order for him to get a second. Moreover, even the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. I mean, there's a verse in the Quran, where, asarra nabiyu ila ba'di azwaji haditha. If no one thought about this verse. When the Prophet, he, he kept a secret from some of his wives. Yes. Some scholars, I'm not gonna go into detail, but some scholars actually connect this with an incident yes. with Maria the Copt and so on. And yeah. Yeah, it, it, let, let me just pause and explain. Maria the Copt, um, she was a, an Orthodox uh, girl, Christian Orthodox, and, um, you know, her, her city was, you know, destroyed and, and, you know, the men were killed and she was taken away as a concubine for Muhammad and she refused to convert to Islam. So she certainly did not believe that Muhammad was a prophet. 
and uh, that's why she remained a concubine. And uh, this uh, relationship was kept secret, um, according to, uh, this is Muhammad Ijab speaking, this relationship was kept secret from his other wives. He had a secret concubine, uh, Mary the Copt. Um, yeah, pretty sad, really, that these Orthodox Christians went through that. It's, it's, it's very sad. I'm not going to go into detail, but the, the idea of actually not telling your husband or your wife, to be fair, because the Hadith in Sahih uh, Muslim says, لا يحل الكذب إلا في ثلاث That lying is not allowed except for three things. One of them is Hadith الرجل لمرأته That for, when a man speaks to his wife. And in Sahih Muslim it says, and when a wife speaks to her husband. Mm -hmm. well, so, white, what, what, the white lies? It doesn't have to be white. It can be a black lie. Sorry to say, yeah, I'm not, uh, yeah. It's so hu husbands and wives are allowed to lie to each other. That's what he just said. Husbands and wives are allowed to lie to each other. This, this idea of white lies, it's a modern day thing that people say. There's, in the classical works, yeah. there's no differenti differentiation there here in the kutub. Like for example, that's not how people understood it. it can be, you can lie to your, uh, your spouse. In this situation, so the issue of this is that. So can, it, can they lie in the context of, for example, if one says, oh, I sense that you've got a second wife. Can he says? Can he say no? I don't. Yes, you can. You can say that. You can say that. Yes, I, I personally believe this <laughs> <What>? is. Uh, <laughs> you know, what she says? You know, I mean that that you know that you know that that's just wrong. That that's just wrong. And and and, and look at the smile on the other guy. You know, um, <laughs> Ali Dawa. That's the name he goes by. Look at his smile as he's just <laughs> looking over. You know, he's quite happy about this. He's on the master. Lay your hello, kadab illa fi thalaf. The prophet said you can do it. Uh, yeah. The prophet said you can do it. <laughs> I believe I believe okay. it's possible. Now this is the same prophet. Um very, very sad. The same prophet that is well known for uh, marrying Aisha when she was six, still playing with her dolls and consummating that marriage when she was nine. Very, very sad. In fact, when you read the hadiths, it talks about her hair falling out and everything. That's how, how full on it is. And and the reason why we know she was prepubescent is because when you read the hadiths, uh, playing with dolls is forbidden uh, for uh, Muslims uh, unless they're prepubescent. That's how we know that she was prepubescent. And she was taken when she was still playing with her dolls. And, and the reason why these hadiths are there was ironically to defend Mah Muhammad because, uh, was sorry, to defend Aisha because um, people were trying to say that she was unfaithful and um the, these hadiths were came in to basically say, "Oh no, she's been with the Prophet, you know, from you know prepubescent times." You know, so it's, it's it's very sad, very sad. But but he permits. Obviously, that's what he's saying. He permits these secret second wives. Having said this, all I said this is the abstract ruling. Yeah. But in implementation, okay. Now do because like I said, the hukum can take different rulings based on a personal side. If someone does this and they get caught, for example. Mm -hmm. Or something happens, or yeah, some well, he, or she just asks him, "Where were you last night?" Uh, you know, I even if he answered that question, she she can't know if if he's going to get a truthful answer because they've already admitted that. Uh, sorry, if she's going to get a truthful answer because they've already admitted that he can lie to her. Yeah, but even that he can lie. Uh, so, said. so you are allowed to lie yes, anything yeah. related to the relationship. I believe, I believe, I believe it's not anything because there are some I, things you can I'm never sure lie about. His Islam. wife. Yeah. I'm not sure. For example, you can never lie about the religion of Islam. You can never lie about something which relates to the rights of the person. You can never lie about something that relates to vested interests, like the children, for example. There's there's things you can never lie about, but the, the, I believe yes, you can. But, but, but is it, are you saying in the context of, for example, it's going to it's going to ruin the ma family unit? So he's lying to protect his family. I, I, look, lying to protect, lying about his second wife to protect his family. Okay. I'm saying to you, I don't recommend this, but you, you are, we started off by saying that there's two things. There's one aspect, which is jurisprudential yeah. and another aspect, which is application. Jurisprudential, the man can do it. It's up to the man. No woman can take that right man away from the man. Okay, it's so, impossible. So, so let's say, let's get this right, yeah? So yeah. That Islamically, any of us, can get a secret second wife. Absolutely. Or any man for that. No, not secret. We, we can get, Islamically, no. there is no He's problem in a man getting married to another <laughs> woman in Misyar yeah. without the first wife's knowledge. However, the question okay. is, and there's no, there's no khilaf in this. Yeah. There's no, there's actually, I've not seen one solitary difference of opinion yes. in any of the 14 generations of Islam. No, no difference of opinion for 14 generations of Islam. This has been permitted. There's no difference of opinion from scholars within 14 generations of Islam on this subject. Muslims are allowed to get 
a second secret wife. And I think even uh, Ali Dawa later on, he says, you know, multiple, multiple wives. It's not there. Which is? Any scholar saying that, no, a woman needs to know, she needs to tell her, okay, it okay. doesn't okay. exist. Yeah, that's it. No, like, you know, Allah says, yeah, I'm not here to, would you respect, I'm, I, I don't prostrate myself to the emotions of yeah. women or men or anyone else. I'm, I'm speaking about the religion, this is a ruling. There's we cannot eye. we cannot distort the rulings. There's an eye in the Quran. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says to the Prophet Sallam yeah, that you know are you going to make something which is haram for you uh, halal for you haram mm -hmm. because of the fear of your wives? That's a very deep statement. That could that could be. Uh, oh. So so he's saying you know are you going to make something haram for you that is forbidden which is halal uh, because of the fear of your wives? You know so he's saying look don't don't forbid yourself this right just out of fear. Uh, of your wives. That's what the Quran is saying. So that, that, that's what he's trying to argue here. Um, to make your wives uh, pleased with you. Exactly. Yeah. So I believe brothers should fear Allah more than their wives. I mean, please tell me, I, I don't think, let me just, I think there's Bill Ijma, meaning there's consensus that none of you guys are okay with your uh, uh, husbands getting a second wife. Can I just quickly just get that out of the way? Sister Swad. Absolutely not. You're not okay with it? Yeah. It's, it's, sister, not, it, it's a no from me. And if okay. you have anything to say, say it now. <laughs> She's threatening uh, You're finished. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sister, the husband's the other white looking guy, you know, so she's obviously quite upset. Mira? Yeah, no. No? Uh, <laughs> Sister Tara? And I won't be happy with it. Okay, she won't be happy with it. Okay, now, now, now listen, no, listen. I like that response. Now, now listen. Yeah, may Allah bless him. Now listen to us brothers, yeah? Okay, starting from Dawood, yeah? Would you say you are polygamous by nature? Hey, we had this conversation before. Can we have you on the mic, please? And I, I disagree with you. Um, no, 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 I'm just asking a simple question. Let's not go into the nitty gritty. All I'm know, saying is. I, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm polygamous by nature. I'll say that. Bro, 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 bro. bro. Let me, let me answer the question again, yeah? Yeah. yeah. If your wife was totally okay with it, yeah. zero <laughs> problems, mm -hmm. you come back home and she's cooking a meal, bruv, you just got married. Yeah. Would you get a second wife? Yeah, I would. Okay. I would. Uh, no, I'm going to miss the brother because we don't want to... Look, okay, let, really like this, yeah? What you're saying is within our nature. Yeah? Just, just be just, careful, Just, just, be just careful. jokes aside, yeah? Um, <laughs> blame Jamil. <laughs> at, at, least, at least these women have... Uh, some strength, but I, I wonder how far they could push it. I think if um, there were issues there, at least with this group, I think she'd get shut down pretty quickly. But at least she's showing some fortitude here, which is which is a good thing. But they're by the way, they're in England, by the way. So um, yeah, if you die, we loved you. Yeah, it was for the cause. Yeah, okay, brothers. Okay, what I'm just saying is that as a man, would you not say you are polygamous by nature? It doesn't mean you have to act upon it, but would you not say that every man is polygamous? by nature, that if their wives were totally okay with it, no consequences, that they would do it. I, d I don't think I would. No, no, but I don't know, because the thing is, I work on the doors. Guys, he needs a lie detector. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I mean, with this idea of men polygamous, polygamous by nature, Jesus didn't have any wives. Right, Jesus didn't have any wives. So are we going to say that Jesus was polygamous by nature? Um, Muhammad had a lot of wives, but Jesus had no wives. Um, so it, it is possible, you know, it is possible to control. We, we are sinful by nature, right? Human beings other than Christ, other than Jesus, are sinful by nature. Um, but we cannot say we uh, should be with multiple wives. God's design is not multiple wives. In fact, when you read Genesis and you read the story uh, of creation, um, God only created one wife for Adam. He didn't create multiple wives for Adam. So this man is clearly wrong here. Even in Islam, there was not multiple wives. As far as I'm aware, I might be wrong there, but as far as I'm aware, Adam only had one wife, even in Islam. Guys, one second. Well, the thing is, I work on the doors. Because there's conflict of interest here. Yeah, well. yeah, I work on the doors. <laughs> <laughs> I work on the doors. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. The thing is, I work on the doors. There's so many women out there. But the thing is, it doesn't do nothing for me. No, no, we know that. But, Look, I have no doubt about yeah, that. What yeah. I'm saying is the following, Naki, yeah? yeah? The reason I'm saying this, yeah, and we need to be brutally honest, yeah? Mm. The reason I'm saying this, you know why? Because sisters are under the impression that there is a man out there that is um, not polygamous. I believe, but any, that's true. Any, that's under the impression, but Jesus was uh, celibate. He, he didn't have any um, wives. He had no sin whatsoever, no sinful sexual desire. He he didn't lust after women. He was perfect. He was perfect. Um, so the idea that just because you're a man, you are polygamous by nature is false. It's false. No, that's true. delusion. Can, Anyone okay, that okay, thinks okay. that is delusional. Okay, no, okay. it's true. I'm so not every <laughs> man <laughs> is one, polygamous. One second, one second, one second. Why are men even choosing to make it secret? And the whole reason is because 
if mm-hmm. your husband was to come to you and say, hmm, I, I want to get married again and I want to do it properly, yeah? Now I say to the sisters, if you don't want your husband to get a second wife, you tell him that if he's going to get a second wife, he has to do it properly. Meaning, yeah. which is what, and let me tell you something. If you don't want your husband to get a second wife, implement this, yeah? You tell him you're going to marry her. You're going to do Walima for her. You're going to get her mahar. You're going to get all of this stuff. You know what you'll say? You'll say, bro, that's long. Absolutely, yeah. But there, if there are men out there who can do that, the question I want to ask you guys... It's just made no sense whatsoever there. You know, If you don't want him to do it, tell him you have to do all these uh, specific things in Islam uh, for your wife in order to get married, and he won't. But there are men out there that can do it. And you know, he's probably one of them that wants to do it. What is the right way so men don't go behind their wife's back? Why are they keeping it secret? Because they are scared of the consequences. Not seeing their kids, being kicked out. Being black, these are major sins, by the way. Not mm-hmm. showing your kids. I know brothers who have been divorced and not seeing their kids because they wanted to get second wife. This is dhulm. Mm-hmm. On the day of judgment, are you mad? Mm-hmm. Something he did halal. Understand, it's emotional. You're upset. Mm-hmm. You are stopping him from seeing his kids. You are now going to the law. Bro, we had brothers here. We had fathers here yeah. accused of pedophilia with their kids yeah, right. because of a bitter wife. You know, all, all those things are terrible. It's terrible to accuse someone falsely of those sort of things. And we, we see that it's a big problem in, in Western society. Men are being falsely accused all the time by women. And especially when there's a messy breakup and kids are involved, that's totally true. But on, on the other side of things, it is good to see the state getting involved and giving these women some sort of support in the midst of this. Although as a Christian, I don't believe there are any grounds for divorce whatsoever. I know Christians have different views on that, but that's my particular view, but it's good to see that these women are getting some sort of support um, in these situations. Um, but, but yeah, you know, you should definitely never withhold uh, visitation rights um, to your kids and stuff like that. In England, um, if there's a divorce, it's it's automatic. The cho- the children go with um, with the wives or with the the uh, mother. Um, and it's very tough for men. Uh, it's tougher than in Australia, although Australia is very tough as well. Um, but yeah, yeah that aside. Yeah. I'll ask you a simple question. Yeah, I think that's Bill Ijma here. You guys would never want it. We would definitely. But what, there are can, ways can, can I, can that I, women can, Amir, can implement. No, Sister Amir, I'll ask you a question. Where a husband cannot marry a second wife that's, if he agrees and signs no, on the day of the nikah, he cannot. He cannot then go about, and get a secret that's wife. Unbelievable. <laughs> so she's saying um, that if on the day they get married, there's an agreement in the marriage contract that he doesn't get a second wife, then he's not allowed to. Um, but I think Ali Dawa just shuts that down. But if somebody doesn't believe that it's battered, he doesn't, he doesn't even acknowledge it. Yeah? And, and also, and also point, yes, 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 yes. I'm going to give you- <laughs> If he doesn't believe that, it's, it's meaningless. So he can even sign it in the contract. But if he doesn't really believe it, it's meaningless it to you yeah. but after he after him right. i want to ask you guys a question please can you tell us the correct way of going about it so it's not secret but but this is what she said is there's truth in what she said yeah, of course. um and so, <laughs> <laughs> he starts off saying there's truth in what she said but at the end even that truth becomes meaningless <laughs> the hanbali uh, is it's actually mentioned in all the books of the hanabal uh, ibn, uh, ibn khadama mentions that uh, what do you call it? mentions that, Hajjawi mentions even Zal Mustaqla, yeah. uh, Musa al Hajjawi mentions it. So many people mention it. Bahuti. Okay. So, this is what you're saying is legitimate. In fact, if, if someone puts in the in the contract, maybe I should be given all the. No, you should give the tip. No, no, no. Even if it's the brothers, it's a bit of truth. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. We're given all the. Funny enough, I'm humbling myself. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Maliki. Uh, okay. <laughs> but all the other madhahib actually don't agree with this. And the reason why is they bring it, there's a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad <laughs> that says, Ayu shartin laysa fi that mm-hmm. any condition that is not in the book of Allah, then it's nullified. Exactly. So they say, Bang, right there. Any condition, even if they've got this condition in the contract that they won't get a second marriage in the marriage contract, they put that condition. If Allah hasn't given, it's meaningless. Meaningless. Say that this is a incorrect, so the Hanafis don't accept this, the Shafi's don't accept this, and the Malikis don't accept this. So if the woman is Hanbali, for example, she, she puts this agreement, and he's not this thing. <laughs> no, but he's not this thing. He doesn't. It's all about what he believes in. If he doesn't believe in it, it might not be uh, voracious. However, I would put to this, I would add to it, the Prophet Sallam did say Al Muslimun ala shuruti him. Muslims are upon their condition. Mm-hmm. Which is yeah, yeah, you know, oh you who believe uh fulfill the contract. Yeah. Okay, uh, before, so, before so, we slide away, because I feel like okay, uh, right, the first oh question gosh. that was asked about uh, <laughs> uh is secret uh, yeah. is it okay to have a secret wife? I wanted I would love to go back there. Please, yeah. I mean I think 
I, I haven't personally looked into it, so I'll take your word. So I don't know. That might be a different opinion. I don't know. I, I take what Hijab said yeah. about like that it's like agreed upon that you you, you shouldn't, um, that it's okay to do a secret. But I would love to speak about the implications mm -hmm. that it has a bit more because it's um, something I feel like um, um, that we didn't really discuss. Yeah, because that's right. Okay. That's right. Because the implication here is that the secret, like, okay, Obviously, nothing is really secret. Again, you can't have a secret wife per se because, <laughs> you have to, I don't know, yeah, not it's really. uh, not really marriage in Islam. The way it's the, um, it's constructed. Yeah, it's, but let's not sugarcoat it. It's a secret from the first wife. Uh, I'm, I'm going to you know what I I'm mean. Gonna, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Yeah, but secret. this is the whole thing. May, 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 right? may I finish? May I finish? Because is, because well, you got a buzzer. You can use a buzzer. It's a secret from the first yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, but I'm Sorry. trying to take it elsewhere. I'm trying to go deep. I want to go deep. I want to go deep. He wants to go deep. <laughs> this is a shallow religion. This is a carnal, fleshly religion. It's not a deep religion at all. So what I'm trying to say is that um, Islam, in the way that Islam has um, constructed marriage, is marriage is like a communal thing. So there's always other people involved. Um, but uh, it would be a secret to the person that matters the most, which is the yes, wife. Exactly. Right? And I don't think that uh, that causes cohesion. Uh, in the long term, in a in a society, imagine if we were to live in a society where there's a considerable amount of men who do this, mm -hmm. and there's so many implications that come out of it. The children out of those marriages do that. Do they know that they're siblings? Thank you. S yeah, these, I'm so, so glad you've mentioned so, children. So all these problems. Okay, yes, but, 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 uh, yes, true. But why Let is the man keeping I'm, a secret? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to finish. Yeah, I'm yeah, just going to finish. Ali Dawa, he keeps hitting, yes, that's all true, we agree with that, but why is he keeping it a secret? The reason why he's keeping it a secret is ultimately the wife's fault because the wife won't allow him to have his second wife. That's Ali Dawa's point. I'm just going to finish. I'm just gonna finish. Why it's is the man keeping it a secret? Yeah. And I'm going to get there, and I'm with you on that one. I'm just saying that for those brothers who do these things, you just always, you must understand that the, the pain and... Uh, the misery mm -hmm. that could be a byproduct of this thing mm -hmm. is is tremendous. Agree. I'll be honest with you. No man wants to keep a secret. No man wants to go do anything behind his wife's back. So the, pain, the, the point is this. If we are created in this manner, you guys are created with certain hormones. Yes. For example, because we're learning here. Yes. You have your period. You have your menopause. You, um, you, you become <laughs> pregnant, etc. There are so many factors. So men don't blame women and say, oh, you know, why are you periods? Why are you in menopause for? <laughs> yeah? so and bad. when it comes to intimacy, a lot of men actually feel deprived. Their, their partners, just they're not as bothered. And the thing is here, that now we as men are men are this blamed. No, no, we as men are blamed. Men can abstain. The, the proof is Jesus. Jesus abstained. Men can abstain. There's no problems. We, we don't even have that, you know, obstacle. Jesus didn't have a wife at all, right? And he abstained. We can have a wife. So surely we can abstain for certain periods of time. In for a hormone that we are created, we accept your hormone, you're on the hormone, no problem. We can, no intimacy for a week, no problem. Menopause, pregnancy, it's all good. When a man has these hormones, number one, you are not allowed to have it. Number two, if you were to go to act up on it, I'm going to make your life hell. So I'm asking a simple question. What, do, what does a man... So if you act upon your carnal desire, your carnal sinful desire to have sex with another woman, then, you know... You, you're going to get given these problems. That that's normal. That that that's normal. You you can expect uh, somebody to react that way. I'm not saying it's right for a woman to withhold, um, you know, visitation to children or, or to to get the man out of the house or um, to to make false accusations. But but if you're going to follow your sinful carnal desires, those things have consequences. Should do. Tell me the men want to know the correct way of going about this without making it secret. Second wife, because to me, from my point of view, it seems like none of the men want none of the men want to make it secret. But the pressure, outside pressures from our wives and God knows what other elements, is causing oh. men to be like, you know what, I have to go the secret way. For me, I agree. They're literally sitting there saying that they want to have another wife as these women are sitting there, and I th I'm pretty sure there's an audience there as well. It's so sad. Polygamy is permissible. A man doesn't need to, you know, I can't go away from Islam. He doesn't need to. He should. He should leave Islam. Tell me, okay, but aside from Al Islam, I think my integrity, my dignity, my, you know, who I am as a person, 
Your I conscience. would think it's so disrespectful for my husband to go and marry somebody else secretly without giving me yeah, the knowledge. What about openly? Without, what about? No, okay, wait. Can you come on. openly? Yeah. Before openly, yeah. if he, if we're talking about secret sec second wife, if my husband has gone behind my back, that to me is cheating, okay. even if okay. it is. And, and that's the thing, right? Because your conscience tells you that that's wrong. You know, to, to be a Muslim goes against conscience, goes against your conscience to believe this stuff. Islamically wait. correct. No, However, sister, sister. wait, hold on. Yeah. If he was to come to me prior to, you know, prior to him yeah. doing this yeah, yeah, yeah. and having that conversation with me, which yeah. we've already openly discussed yeah, this, yeah. I want a second wife genuinely. I don't know if that's the guy on the end. I, I'm just guessing could be, you know, her husband. But yeah, what would you I think I think the two on the left, they seem to have a sense of shame. I think their consciences are pricked. That they're, they're caught between their carnal desires and what their religion teaches them, and what their conscience teaches them. Um, yeah, we would have a conversation. Oh, I'm not mirror, sorry. I'm I not. I'm not somebody who's Sister not understanding. Don't. However, at least he gave me an option yeah, okay. first, and he's given me a right in a way right. so I can make an informed decision for okay. myself. I understand. But let's go back to what you said before. Aside okay. Islam, dignity, respect, and with respect that aside Islam or beside that you don't have any of those things anyway dignity or respect. I know. I agree. So so just just this, this idea of aside Islam, we're Muslims. There is no side Islam in this discussion. Mm -hmm. If I was speaking to an atheist, as I do, leave Islam. That's the answer. Leave Islam. We can bring in liberalism and feminism, but I'm speaking to a Muslim. Mm -hmm. So there is no aside Islam here. That's the first thing. The okay, but thing, you said lying is not okay, but for, uh, is okay for, to, for a husband but to let, lie let, to you. If he's lying to me every you, night. Let you... Lying every night. You know, of course your conscience is telling you that's wrong. And the two men on the left, they, they, they know it as well. We let you speak. Sorry. Why is he lying? I'm not going to do a uh, prostration to the collective hormonal <laughs> and emotional status of men or women or children or anybody else. I'm not going to do this. So I'm saying now we go back to the book and the sunnah. Well, the question is, what exactly are we objecting to? I'm saying that at the end of the day, everyone here has agreed that this is not what Sharia wants. It's not the best case scenario. It's not the default situation. In fact, what Ali said at the end there was a very good point. Because let's say, for example, a woman withholds from the man sexually. In Islam, this is a kabir amal kabir. It's mm -hmm. one of the major sins of Islam. Major one sins. One of the heavy sins. La'na is born in. Mm -hmm. It's not like yani, what, the angels. What's that if? The, the angels, if the woman withholds this from the man, that the angels will continue c cursing them until the, he works up. <clears throat> now, if, uh, look, it's... Don't get me wrong, it's wrong for, for a woman to withhold, you know, those things from her husband. But this idea that it's the, you know, the, one of the worst sins and uh, the angels are cursing the woman until the man wakes up from his sleep. Crazy religion. Crazy. If a, if a woman is doing this to a man, Wallahi uqsum billah. And you know, uh, this is my advice. Uh, uh, this is controversial. My advice to the brother is to get married again. Now, I'm saying that he can either do it secretly without her knowledge or not secretly. If he knows that she would withhold the kids from him, use the state, then do it without her knowledge. But I believe that's a form of abuse. Let's Look, get straight into it. I mean, th this is a crazy religion. You, I'll put a link in the description. You can watch the whole thing. But but this is this is a crazy religion. And I think two things that can just debunk what they're saying, that, that, that the argument that men should be allowed to have two wives and really it's natural for men to have more than one wives where polyg polygamous by nature, Two things debunk that that are common in both Christianity and Islam. The first one is that God created Adam with only one wife, not multiple wives. And the second one is that Jesus didn't even have one wife and he was able to control his sexual desires. So we can reject everything that they just said. We're allowed to have a wife, right? So we should have no problem trying to conform ourselves uh, to the standard that God has set. Now, obviously, in Islam, he's allowed, they're allowed to have more than one wives, but that's because it's a false religion. It's a man-centered religion. It's a carnal, fleshly religion. Even their concept of heaven, multiple wives with big breasts and brown eyes, this sort of thing, you know, this is sinful, carnal things, you know. Um, their idea of heaven is a paradise of sin. Uh, it, it's really a shocking religion, and... Um, I feel really sorry for these women and I uh, really hope that many women watch this kind of thing 
and even many men see how sinful it is uh, by the conviction of their own conscience and the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And I hope they leave Islam and turn to the true religion, Christianity. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification button. I'll see you in the comment section and you'll see me in my next video.